So Crix wins the roll and decides to let uh, Jake and his protected Menoth go first and set up first. So Jake's deployment, he sets up, of course, his Rax advanced deployment. He's got his uh, deliverers over there on the left. Up in front, he's got the Avatar, the Crusader, and the Revenger. And behind them is Severius with the Hierophant. And behind them are is the Choir. And off to the right is the Deliverer Sunburst crew. For Crix's deployment, we have the Pistol Wraith over to the left. Scrap Thrall next to him. Up in front, we've got the Death Jack. And behind him is Captain Rengrave and a full unit of Revenant crew. Uh, next to them is Gatsby with a Scarlock behind him. Uh, farther over to the right in the woods is the Canker Worm. And behind the woods is a Defiler, a War Witch Siren, and a Necrotech. And we're ready for turn one. Turn one for a Protectorate. Uh, the Deliverers run up into the uh, bushes concealment there. The Avatar, the Crusader, and both run. The Revenger makes a full advance. The Mechanics run up behind them. The Choir makes a full advance and casts the Hymn of or and uses the Hymn of Passage on the Warjacks. Severius casts Eye of Menoth, makes a full advance, and casts Defender's Ward on the Crusader. The Hierophant makes a full full advance behind Severius, and the Sunburst crew take a full advance. Okay, for Crick's turn two. The Pistol Wraith and the Scrap Thrall both ran on one side of the battlefield. On the other, the Defiler ran up. Gatsby then went, took a full advance into the woods, camped on his focus. Canker Worm ran out of the forest uh, towards the de Deliverers and then made his full advance since he was in Gatsby's control range to get up even closer to him. The War Witch and the Necrotech both ran up behind the Defiler. The Death Jack then activated, made a full advance, cast Breath of Corruption toward the Deliverers, came up a little bit short. Uh, and of course that laid a cloud effect down. Captain Rengrave ran up by the Death Jack and the Pirates followed suit. And Scarlock cast Scything Touch on the Pirates. And onward to turn two. So for Severius turn two, uh, he upkeeps Eye of Menoth and Defender's Ward on the Crusader. The Deliverers uh, go ahead and they try to fire a five-person combined range attack versus the Canker Worm and miss. Uh, and that doesn't do anything. The, they, the other five go and they try a shot at the Defiler and they hit for uh, 10 damage, taking out its Arc Node. The Avatar uses Gaze of Menoth and then run toward, runs toward the Canker Worm. Crusader runs up behind him in between the Cloud Effect. The Mechanics run up behind the Crusader. The Revenger runs toward the Pistol Wraith on the other side of the battlefield. The choir makes a full advance and uses Shielding on the Crusader. The Hierophant uses Harmonious Exaltation on Severius. Severius goes and starts by arc noting Immolation through the Revenger, boosting it to hit the Pistol Wraith and takes him out of the fight. He then makes a full advance to the rear of the Deliverers, cast Vision on the Crusader. Sunburster takes a shot at Death Jack and comes up short for no damage. Alright, Crick's turn two. This is where stuff started to happen. First off, the Necrotech makes an advance up behind the Defiler and repairs him for three points, putting the Arc Node back up. Captain Rengrave makes an advance, tries a shot at the Crusader, hoping to remove Vision, and misses. The War Witch makes an advance and uses Power Booster on the Canker Worm, giving him one focus. The Defiler uses the Sludge Cannon at the Avatar misses that but ends up killing two deliverers. Gatsby goes makes a full advance uh, still in the woods and uses the arc note of the defiler to cast breath of corruption at the mechanics. Uh, it deviates, misses and catches a mechan one mechanic uh, which corrodes him and the avatar for four damage. Cankerworm advances uh, bites the avatar for nine damage Pirates make an advanced. They take a couple of shots at the Crusader and they get rid of Vision. Pirates still have a couple of shots left so they take some shots at the uh, Choir and takes one of those down. Scarlock makes an advance, casts Scything Touch on the Death Jack. Death Jack then goes, 
and uses a slam attack versus the Crusader, hits for four damage, and with collateral damage kills one of the mechanics. Death Jack then casts Breath of Corruption on the choir, ends up killing two of those. Scrapdar runs into the woods. Menoth turn three, Severius upkeeps both of his spells, and the choir starts off by using Battle Hymn on the Crusader. Revenger runs up onto the Mosh Pit Hill, and that's going to prove very important later on in the turn. The mechanic stands up, repairs the Crusader for four damage. Hierophant takes an advance and uses Harmonious Exaltation on Severius. Severius pulls Focus from the rack, uses Death Sentence on uh, Arc Noting from the Revenger to the Death Jack, and then uses Immolation as an Arc Node to the Death Jack for no damage. Sunburst crew tries to hit the Death Jack and they only do one damage. Crusader takes a full advance towards the Death Jack and between the three focus he had on him he just wrecks the Death Jack totally. The Deliverers then fire some combined rain shots into the Revenant crew dropping six pirates. The Avatar uh, uses a shield on the Canker Worm for five damage, uses Burning Wrath for 8 damage, and then Burning Wrath again for 12 damage, wrecks a Canker Worm, Canker Worm bursts into flames. That ends Jake's turn, and due to the Revenger being up in range of the Mosh Pit, uh, that ends up winning him the battle. So we both choose our MVPs. I chose the Death Jack, which, uh, you know, used all the Breath Corruption and was able to slam the Crusader and Jake chose the Revenger because well basically it won the game some final thoughts on the battle well I ignored the main objective and that proved to be my downfall I was worried far too much about Jake's ranged attacks and should have been worrying more about the center objective both of us were a little dissatisfied with how the game ended but all in all we enjoyed the game there was a lot of really great uh, things that happened for both sides and quite honestly there's no such thing as a bad game of war machine so until next time um, good gaming and we'll have some more battle reports and some other things coming at you stay tuned